Hi, this is Heather with Autism Chrysalis. I want to talk about the transition period following adult autism identification. If you're in that now, it's okay if your life at the moment is in a sort of working theory standpoint. That's part of the process that we all go through after we figure out in our 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, or more that, oh, by the way, I'm autistic, and I didn't know that. And so all of these th things happen in ways that I didn't understand. And there's this whole history of cultural gaslighting and little t traumas from just not fitting in and from people expecting things of you that you couldn't give or didn't understand what was going on or why it mattered to them. So you responded in different ways than what they had expected and they were like, what the hell is wrong with you? You're such an idiot or whatever they did. And you didn't know what was going on either and you were confused and hurting and now you finally do know what was going on, what is going on, that you process information differently and have different natural reactions to social situations and have a different sensory experience of the world around you. And that none of these things are inherently bad, but the world often treats them as if they were. So you're going through this time of adjusting your brain to this new reality and processing the things that happened with this new lens and deconstructing, and deconstructing the thought processes that have been holding you back and looking for different ways forward. This is a liminal period, a time of transition where your identity is being deconstructed and reformed. You're no longer the one thing, but not yet the new thing either. And that's always uncomfortable because it's unstable and unfamiliar and you don't know what to expect and your mind is simultaneously processing daily life in both the old way and the new way at once, with flashes of either getting the upper hand at different moments. And that can feel dis confusing and disjointed. But this time can also be exciting and intriguing and hopeful and all sorts of things. It's exactly this transition that will give you the freedom to heal and explore and not have to be any one thing not having the answers or a plan or setting goals goes against a lot of our modern capitalist narratives, but it's deeply ingrained in traditional cultures from around the world. This liminal time may last longer than you want it to, but it won't last forever. For me, it was about three years, and I don't know how, rep how representative that is, but I do know two things. One is that it's going to be more than a few weeks or months if you're really letting yourself grapple with the hard things that come up. And two, if you are grappling with those hard things, it will naturally turn into a more stable experience of a freer, happier you at some point. I encourage you to hold on to work through it until that happens. And it's not just like a switch that happens at one moment, it's a slowly growing of that. Wish you well on your journey. Take care and have a neuro wonderful day.